Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this blue screen of death you might be getting on your Windows 10 machine. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so you'll get this blue screen of death intermittently. You won't get it every time you boot up or sometimes when you do a, a certain function it might crash at that time. Um, doesn't really give you too much information. It gives you the stop codes, but usually it gives us some more information that's helpful. But with this specific blue screen of death, you don't get too much information apart from this stop code. Um, from experience, it's usually caused by a driver trying to write uh, some information to memory, and that's what causes the crash. So if you go to your Windows 10 machine, when you're at the desktop, if you click on the start menu, type in device manager and then left click on the uh, device manager application now what we need to do is update the driver for the display adapter and any network adapters you've got in your machine so if we look at the network adapter if you just right click on it and go to properties click on the driver tab you can see the driver version here so we know it's an Intel network adapter. So if you go to the Intel website and then search for that driver, um, if it's newer than this version, download it and install it on your machine. Uh, repeat that for the display adapter as well. Um, after you've done that, reboot your machine and hopefully the issue will go away. If it doesn't, come back in here, right click on both of these and click uninstall and then uninstall on there reboot your machine and then reinstall the driver again so what you need to do is if you click on update driver software uh, if you've downloaded the driver from intel or wherever your display adapters from click on browse my machine and just browse to where you downloaded the file to update it that way then reboot uh, that should fix the problem if it doesn't it's possible that one of the um, files for the driver is corrupted. So if you just open up File Explorer like I have here, click on this PC, right click on your C drive and go to Properties. Now click on the Tools tab. And under Error Checking, if you just click on Check, and then click on Scan Drive, it might ask you uh, to do this at the next reboot. If it does, uh, just select the option to do it at the next reboot and then shut down and restart your machine. Uh, what this process is going to do is it's going to go through every single file on your C drive and fix any corrupt files that it will find. So again, this should fix the problem. If it doesn't, there's one last thing we can do. So if you go click on the start menu go to settings click on update and security um, I'm actually running Windows update as we speak now but there'll be a check now button so just click on check now uh, that's going to go to the Microsoft website it's going to download the latest hot fixes for your machine it's possible that in one of these hot fixes it's got a fix for this issue that we're experiencing now um, so download that again reboot your machine come back in here because sometimes it requires you to come back in here and recheck again two or three times so just keep on repeating that process until there's no more updates to install um, and that should fix your issue if you've got any questions on this process please post it in the comment below and I'll be sure to help you out if you need it but thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video